Here's a video on how to change out the worm gear for the actuator for the all-wheel drive models for the BMW. Mine is an E90-335XI. So I'll link to the parts below where I bought them so you can buy them if you need to replace that part. My problem is more in intermittent. So I thought that maybe this was the issue. Turns out that mine did not fix this doing this repair, but it's still a good idea to re-grease all these parts anyway. But uh, so if you do have the problem intermittent, then it's probably that the actuator itself might be going bad, which I think might be my problem. To remove this module, you have three E10s, they're right here, and there, and one up at the top. To get to this one, you need to remove this E7 here. That removes this plug piece. You could just take this off and the top one very easily and pull this piece out and replace the worm gear. But if you want to clean out all the old grease, you have to get this piece off. And then, as I showed you in the video, you have to take the, this off and that one off to remove this cap. There's an O-ring under here. There's also an O-ring on this piece where it slides in. And there's an O-ring between on this side where the gear is. Also, all your fluid's gonna probably leak out here. So if you wanna add fluid, you're going to have to go to this plug here. It's a 14 millimeter. I just use a custom tool I made. It's two 14 millimeter nuts welded together. And then I use a 14 millimeter wrench to get that off. The drain plug is on the opposite side. It's on this side. Right here is kind of difficult to unplug. You're supposed to press this back to have it release here. 
I broke mine because I didn't really understand how to get it off. This one, it connects on top of that. So you could, when you want to remove this, you just bend it back to get it out from under the, the overlaying part of the plastic that holds it together. Plugging it in is just as simple. So you just do that and plug it in here. Cottons in and it should snap in place. This one won't because I broke that one. Here's my tool, two 14 millimeter nuts welded together. This piece is, or this siphon thing is only like $8 at Walmart. It's super easy to use. Some people show on on YouTube where they buy this $200 pump thing that's supposed to help you put the fluid inside the transmission or the or any of your drive terrain, but this thing is really cheap and really easy to use. So you just give it a couple pumps and then release and it will, for the most part, it will dry the fluid in there. But if you want to keep it going, you just keep pumping it. You just do that until it starts to pour out. <laughs> 